Hey guys, we're going to be doing another Eden run today, and I know I had one not too long ago, but the thing is, mate, thing is, mate, Eden is fun. You know, he's different every single time. He, she, whatever. And, uh, yeah, I actually did watch that lore video, guys, you know, by the game theorist. Fuck, man. I got, like, a thousand tweets about that goddamn... Oh, nice starting item. Uh, about that goddamn... Uh, actual video and yes it was a good video and yes I liked it and yes I watched it so you can stop tweeting me you can stop messaging me about it now alright I've seen the video okay and if you don't know what I'm talking about it's the game theorist um, YouTube channel it has like a uh, three million subscribers or something ridiculous and uh, yeah it's a very good channel you know they deserve the success they have they do a very very good job on those videos and uh, yeah I'm impressed by what I saw but yeah the idea was pretty cool and uh, hey spoilers this character is like an angel Angel is Eden. It's just pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I, I like that. You know, Garden of Eden, Eden type thing. And uh, yeah, it's a really cool character. And you randomize everything. You start with some random stuff. We started with um, we started with three red hearts, which is pretty good, especially on this character. We have one bomb, one key. Ooh, if there's a tinted rock, that'd be worth it. It is worth it for sure for a bomb. But uh, I want a tinted rock more than that, to be honest. But I'm I'm saving myself for the Tinted Rock killing at the moment. You know, I will go back and do it. In fact, I'll probably go do that right now before we even go into the boss fight. Yes, uh, we saw two Tinted Rocks down here, I believe. I think. Confirmed an eye. Okay, there's one here. I think there was one further left as well. Yeah, the reason I decided to um, go back and, and destroy the Tinted Rock now um, before just fighting the boss was because, hey, it might be Small Rock. And guess what? It was Small Rock. Pretty nice start here. A good starting item with a wig. Oh, hang on. I have the space bar item. I didn't even, like, notice it. Yeah, there is another tinted rock there, by the way. Um, didn't even think about it. It's the jump button. It's pretty good. It's a pretty cool, like, new mechanic that was uh, introduced in Rebirth. And it doesn't work perfectly all the time, but it definitely does work. And it's a pretty cool idea, isn't it? Either way, we have this damage up. We do have some poop to use to dodge around with. Normally, I seem to not get poop to use to dodge with, which is always annoying because it makes the fight so much easier. But I've not even talked about what we have on this character in terms of stats, in terms of items. We have the space bar item, which is pretty good. We have the health, which is pretty good. We have the ghost baby, which is good. All oh, stats up amazing. Starting damage was two, so that's fine. And we gained one from small rock. Um, yeah, that's everything. We see everything. Also, that's the seed I'm playing on if you're interested. Uh, we do have this petrified uh, poop trinket, which I got from one of these poops that wasn't from Eden and overall the whole run right now feels phenomenal absolutely amazing and I'm not gonna go into the shop because I'm missing one coin one coin away from uh, achieving it guess what guys don't know if you can see that but Diablo Reaper of Souls is available to play it's finished downloading um, according to Battle.net thank you Battle.net <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to be playing some uh, Reaper of Souls very soon. I, I, I'm sure you've worked that out based on what I just said. And I don't know whether I'm going to be doing any videos on it. I think uh, Rage is going to blanket record it. So yeah, I probably won't. Um, but me... Um, Will I Am, Fluke, and uh, hopefully Gubiak as well are going to be playing through some... Um, Diablo again, playing some new classes. Uh, it's been years since we played the game, and they, re they, re they released Reaper of Souls, and apparently it fixed all the problems. Now, here's the question for you guys at home, yeah? What do you think of the Reaper of Souls expansion? Oh, that was really dumb damage. You know, everything feels great. I do really, really good damage. I have lots of health. I'm ready to trade it away for a deal with the devil, and I took some dumb fucking damage. I let an enemy just walk into me for some reason. That was bad. I felt like... I feel too strong almost, you know, and it it got me overconfident, mate. It got me overconfident. But Daddy Longlegs there, we let's not jump over that fact. Is an amazing companion, as you can see. And I can just chill out, let him do the work, and uh, move on. I'll use my jump button to get that and I set that key, which is good. So now we can go to the shop. We have tons of money as well, so that is also good. Jump button, actually really great item in general. Um, but uh, there are spare space for items, for sure. But yeah, what do you think of Reaper of Souls? A lot of people, yep, missed out on a devil deal because of that. So infuriating. Infuriating, I say. At least my character looks cool, I guess. Alright, um... Alright. Nope. There we go, got it, got it. It's kind of weird, it works weird. Uh, into the shop we go. Alright, one plus one's really great. And a soul heart protection for the next floor. We will go to the cursed room that we saw before getting that soul heart, though. And we'll be killing every single poop we can. Because, uh, yeah, we have the petrified poop. Should also try and, like, bump this up a notch in terms of speed. 
of uh, how fast I'm progressing through the levels because, um, you know, I want to go for the boss rush. So uh, I need to be a bit quicker. Not a good room. Not a good room. Just wasted a red heart. It's all right. I can get one on the way back. Been to the iron room. Been to the shop. There is a tinted rock there that I would like to get. We're going to go to the shop on the way back here to get that soul heart protection for the next floor. And that'll have to do us. I'm going to save the rest of my money for the next floors. Could buy that bomb, get that tinted rock. But I think one soul heart is going to be all we need. And we're going to be going down to the dark room to face the lamb as well as a plan, as a goal at very least. So hopefully we can reach this boss rush in time. And I went the wrong way. That is a shame. I say, a shame I say. But now we have one plus one. We're gaining double of everything. That's so fucking awesome. It's like one of the best items for consumables. And in general, like filling out a run where you need, you know, there, two bombs instead of one right, right there. Another one. Awesome. So, just so much consumables. Every time I get consumables, there's just more than there normally would be. It's just fucking awesome. There is nothing bad about it, and I love it. Okay. Alright. Let's just be careful here. Let's not get too cocky. Oh my god, swimming in that money. Don't actually have any keys still at the moment, which is minor concern. There we go. As if on cue. The moment I asked for it as well. The damage I'm doing is great. Daddy Longlegs is just destroying things. You know, he's one-shotting. And he has some cleave AoE damage, which is some nice utility for me. Look at that double kill. Thank you, Daddy Longlegs. Plus the spider companions. If we get, like, hive mind, you know, improve the... Whoa. Improve the damage that they can do. That would also be great. Huge explosions! Yeah, more keys. More money. The Bible. Nope. Nope. But what we will do is we'll donate enough money... To, uh, to actually get to 500 at last. Oh, it's going to glitch out. That's what I meant to say. We're going to make it glitch out. Fuck, man. That's so depressing. All right, so we've got to go to the item room after we defeat this double boss. Be careful here. Be very careful, Daddy Longlegs, if you'd like to get in on this. If you'd like to get in on this, I'd appreciate it. Thank you very much, Daddy Longlegs. You got in on this. You did get in on this. And so, no damage was taken. Deal with the devil. Hell yes. Tears up shot speed. Fuck yeah. Oh, fear shot plus damage up. It doesn't say it, but there is a damage up from that. If you have a quick glance at our stats, we're nearly at the quote-unquote max damage stat level. And all we need to do now is find that item room. We can move on to the next floor. Seven minutes into the run. Three floors achieved as long as we get out of here pretty quick. There's the item room. Yep, we're going to get out of here nice and quick. And yeah. Okay. All right. Damn it. Uh... You know what? We're going to take it. It's rare we get undefined. It is rare we get undefined. I've had it like once or twice before. It's a weird ass item. And though the utility from the jump button has been really cool, really helpful, it's not really necessary. And undefined can take us to that error room. It can take us to secret rooms. It can uh, do everything. It can do everything. Everything you could ever want or hope for, okay? It will cook you a sandwich. If you want to cook you a sandwich, I suppose if it's like grilled cheese, you could count that as cooking. But making a basic sandwich should not be classed as cooking. And uh, that should probably give you an incl inclination on my very limited cooking knowledge. I can cook thing some things, like any babby, you know, I can cook like, you know, an omelette. Omelettes are so easy. If, if any of you don't know how to make an omelette, it's because you've never tried before. It is literally, you just take, you just take like a couple eggs... And you crack them, you get the yolk in some sort of container. You know, you can use a goddamn teacup. I do that because I'm lazy, you know, a mug. Um, you can uh, put those two egg yolks or however many you, you want in. I go with two. And uh, you put a little bit, you know, milk in there. And you swish it up, you know, whatever. And boom, you're pretty much done. Ah, I wasted a full health there. I was trying to avoid it. But doing too much damage, mate. Too much attacks all times. It's pretty overpowered. I think this is a revealer of... Thing on the floor or double what's in the room. So I'm gonna go ahead and oh, 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 damn it! I knew it would happen eventually. I kept dodging. I kept dodging really well there, but it was only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. Could double things or reveal a secret room. Okay, so it skips the floor. So that is our we're taking too long. We gotta get out of here thing that we're gonna press. Um, I want to go to the item room before I press this in case it takes us to the error room. Parallel, uh, that's not good. All right, so we know the item room and the boss is up here at very least. And the shop, actually, as well. We need to go to the shop. Just be careful here. We haven't forfeited our deal with the devil yet. We made a mistake. <sighs> oh! oh, my God. 
Wow, I honestly expected to uh, have taken damage there. That makes me really happy that we didn't. Uh, so yeah, we're trying to get the most value out of this. Oh, no. That's so depressing. Uh, the, the final hurdle, man. The final hurdle. We're trying to get the most out of this floor before we press undefined. Uh, oh, that's not that good. It's depressing, actually. So I guess we're pressing undefined now. Yep, error room. So we skip a boss. Uh, no deal with the devil. This is good. But we're going to go ahead and take the undefined because I want to just do more play with it. And overall, that was pretty good. You know, it's been a while since I've had an error room run that involves them. And it can skip floors really quick. So who knows what we would have got from the boss fight. And admittedly, we could have gone to the boss fight and defeated the boss. Got the item. Maybe even a deal with the devil if I was insanely lucky. <sighs> what the fuck? That was weird. Weird room. Um... And, uh, yeah, I could have got, like, tons of value out of that. But I, I, I didn't really know if I was going to get the error room. You know, there's no way to plan. You can't plan for the error room uh, 100%. I mean, you can plan and assume. Hey, okay, let's assume where we're going to get an error room so we play the best we can. But chances are it could have just teleported me to, like, you know, a secret room or just done a normal thing, you know. So I just went for it. But I'll try and plan around it a bit better in the future. Either way, we are now 10 minutes into the run, and we are already on the Depths 1. Necropolis, not this floor, thankfully. Probably Necropolis next floor. So we can take it chill. We can take it chill. We can go to the boss fight. We can go to the item room. We can go to the shop. We even meet Mr. Shop, by the way. We have the money for it. By God, we have the money for it. So that was also a misplay, I think. Um... So yeah, we could have really got more value out of that last room. But at the end of the day, it doesn't make too much of a difference. It's not going to ruin us. And we probably missed, like, I don't know, a health upgrade. And we already fucked up our chances with a deal with the devil as well on that floor. So there's a good chance we weren't getting one. So, so on and so forth. Excuses, excuses, excuses. Oh, nice. Get that rage going. I didn't give rage enough credit in my recent Samson run. Um, apparently, I was saying, you know, things like, wow, um, money equals power is much better than it actually is. And it infuriated some people. For that, I apologize. Okay. Uh, chariot's good. But we'll take High Priestess just to wreck the boss. Go ahead and uh, open this up. We have the keys, for sure. The will card, sure, why not? Just show me where everything is. Why the hell not? There's the item room. There's the shop. Hang on. Hang on, mate. Hang on there. Let's watch it. Watch it. Okay, very careful. Uh, we've been to the item room already. What am I even talking about? But the shop. <sighs> nice dodge there. Nice dodge. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. A little bit of heart attack. A little bit of heart attack going on there. I admit it. I admit it. Okay, get the bombs and keep moving. 50 coins. We're kind of rich. Ooh, the pull there from that champion enemy nearly got me. It nearly got me. Concerned me in a big way there. But I didn't get hit somehow, luckily. Okay, keep moving on. There's the secret room. There is the secret room. We're going to use a bomb here. We have the keys for tons more bombs as well. Let's, let's get them. We also have still ages, eight minutes to get to the next floor, defeat mom, and get to the boss rush. Greed time, apparently. Okay. All right, yeah, sure, Steam Sale. Gives us more money in general into this place without costing... Oh, my God. You know what we're talking about? Ah, oh, giant spiders and flies. What a combo. What a combo. Amnesia for three cents. What a great deal that was. Completely pointless. Should not have picked that up. All right, let's get out of here. We're pretty much done here. We got everything we wanted. Oh, this is glorious. We still have petrified poop, so we may as well destroy the poop just in case it gives us a soul heart of any kind or, you know, anything of that nature. We also have tons of bombs, so we'll go ahead and see if we can get a soul heart here. We do. Awesome. Gives us more protection. And we'll be using Undefined soon. Very, very soon. We also have a battery lane around that I'd like to make use of for the Undefined. So we're getting as much value out of it as we can. Or at least I'll be trying to. There's another battery there, but it'll cost me some health, so meh. Into the boss fight. Headless horseman. Boom. See you later, mate. I said, see you later. Dead. Uh, good spacebar item. Flight, you know, is good. Undefined. We've had our fun with Undefined, but I kind of want to keep having fun with it. Either way, we're going to go ahead and go to that secret room. Super secret room. And uh, from there, we shall spam use Undefined. Uh, that's a bit of a shame. Don't really want it. I'm good. Ah, we got the air room right away. Awesome. So, go ahead. Nice. Tons of pills. Tons of pills. This is really nice. 
pretty fly, getting the maximum pretty fly going on. Range down, meh, you know, whatever. Range up, haha, <laughs> range up. And explosive diarrhea. We'll just take that one, I guess. Awesome, really great. This is going really well so far. Moving on swiftly, we are on to Necropolis 2 with six minutes, or well, a little bit longer than that, actually, to make it to the boss and defeat her to make the boss rush in time. And I would say right now, based on the spiders, the damage, everything, we can do it. We should be good, too. We, we should be fine. But yeah, that hive mind, I, it was like I predicted it. Definitely didn't, but it was, it was like I did. This Eden run feels great, and I think we're going to make the boss rush. And hell, I feel strong enough to at least have a good chance to beat it. You know, it's not like 100% certain I'll beat it, but it's very likely. It's very likely. You know, and let's not try and build fake drama. You know, the worst kind of drama is fake drama. Probably the worst kind of drama is drama in general, because it's just terrible and annoying. Okay. Uh... I'm going to use it once because it looks cool, I guess, but it's a bad item. On average. On average. What's in here? All right. All right. Stars card. Well, uh, maybe, for, yeah, the next floor. For the next floor, we'll take that star card. And it can, it can take us out of the um, boss fight as well. Black. Oh, my God. These things are great. These things are great. <laughs> so, basically, I now have better chests. I got a black heart. More black hearts are going to drop in general. This run has felt amazing. Um, we should... Even if we fuck this up in a big way and go the wrong way, we should, should still make it. Uh, yeah, we have gone the wrong way, by the way. Completely. As always, on this final floor, I love to go the wrong way. So, you know, that's just me. Nice. More red hearts. As long as we don't lose that. So it looks like we needed to go down. And obviously, I went up, right, left, and everywhere else. As per fucking usual. All right, down we go. See how it goes. Uh, keys for tons of bombs. You know what? Two keys is fine. I'm not going to be using them for much. We're going to the dark room as well, so hell yeah. So all my chests from now on are going to have more in them, basically, is what I was trying to say earlier. And that is going to be really useful. So useful. All right, watching out them explosions. Look at that. Ooh, not really much in there. Not what I was hoping for. Still got time. Plenty of time. We should be very close to the fight now. Gain some more money. I could be using that counterfeit coin here, but again, I don't think it matters that much. We're already getting double on all of them. We'll even blow these guys up because I'm evil. Got tons of bombs anyway. And let's try left. Which is the wrong way, because I must go the wrong way at all times. That nice double kill from Daddy Longlegs there. But uh, yeah, I'm very, very, very good at going the wrong way today. For God's sake. Daddy Longlegs is going to prove fucking invaluable here. These annoying guys. Nice. That was actually not too bad. We've had a lot of pills this run. Like, a l we've chugged pills. We've just chugged them. So hopefully we don't get, like, some sort of repercussion from that. But, uh, yeah, we've had a lot. It's been good. Where is this bloody boss fight? Got everywhere but the right way. It's a good thing we, we were just dominating this run. Seriously. Because we would have had some serious problems take getting there in time we've taken so long to do it in this run but three minutes to defeat mom we totally have it we know we all know i do oh my god and we have undefined and stars to get out there let's do it so we need to get the uh the negative polaroid the nega whatever it's called can't remember the name for some reason right now just keep moving don't let us stomp on you just don't let us stomp on you there it is all right that's fine Nearly got her. Oh, and black cat damage finishes the job. Take the nega. Going to the deal with the devil first. Oh. Oh. Yes. That's also a damage up on top of the extreme swag. Right in here. All right. Oh. Chemical peel is a damage upgrade, right? But we do have great damage already. Dry baby can stop damage from, like, hitting you. So, just another good th way to stop damage. And the AoE damage it does is great. I take dry baby a lot, though. Maybe I should take chemical peel. And the other one's, like, bloody rage, right? But I already have that. Yeah, I do already have that. I don't know why that's there. Maybe it's a different power-up, but I'm pretty sure it's just the same thing. Weird. That, that doesn't seem possible, though. Alright, uh, we're gonna go ahead and take... Dry Baby. I love Dry Baby. 
He's my immortal friend, you know? I love him, okay? Can't take that away from me. And my damage still feels great on its own. I didn't need the uh, upgrade. And I'm sure I'll get more in the future. Dry Baby is going to do some really nice AoE damage throughout this entire thing. Okay, kill this damn Carrion Queen. As always, she's such a pain in my ass. And it's also a champion version that spawns hearts. So really need to kill her ASAP. She should be dead by now. She's not spawned a single poop. That is good. But she spawned a couple hearts. There we go. No acid poop in the entire fight. That is very good. And yes, you're right. I could use Undefined or the Stars card to leave this place right now. And, uh, and not have to deal with this whole fight. But it wouldn't technically unlock the item that I'm here for um, by defeating this for the first time. From then on, I'd, obviously I'd teleport out. But I have to defeat it properly, fully, at least once to uh, fully unlock everything. And that is what I aim to do. No penetrative shot. So these guys are a bit annoying uh, compared to last time we were here. So hopefully we just kill them pretty quick. We, we like, like I said, we're not like massively overpowered this time. Like last time we were really strong. We destroyed it. But this time we're definitely not ridiculously strong. And so we're just doing everything off our own back. But we are strong. No denying that. The fear shot's really helpful. It has been fucking MVP so far here as well. All right. Careful not to get hit. Uh, blow everything up. Nice. Kill the uh, Larry Jr. Get these explosions going. Most of them should be dead now. There's this last one here. Last one here. Oh, took some damage there. That was bad. Oh, the rock caught me there and I moved slowly. Too slow to get out of the way. But hey, as we take more damage, rage is going to give me so much more Anger, and as you can see, my tears are massive now, and they are doing more and more damage every time I take damage. So it's actually working out very well for me. It's just focused entirely on killing the guppy, so he does uh, Gurdy, so he doesn't spawn tons of flies. And there we go. Uh, I think Monstro 2 is more annoying than Gish, but I always attack Gish first for some reason. Cause I'm stupido, stupido. I don't know why he went... Oh, it's because the fear. The fear made him jump way away from me there. Look at him. He's running away. Bit uh, unpredictable of these two when you've got fear shot. But either way, they're both dead now and we didn't take too much damage, if any. All right. Okay, he jumped right at me there, despite being feared. That was kind of weird. Oh, well. The hollow, the me. The me. Let's kill the me. Okay. Mr. Duke, please stop running from me. And there we go. All right. Bloat must die. Bloat must die. All bloats must die. Oh, God. This is the explosion shot one. He doesn't laser me, at least. So that's good. Where's the heart? Where's the heart? Is the heart already dead? My companions just killed that entire mask of infamy for me. That was sweet. Oh, got hit by a shot there. I thought uh, Pretty Fly or Dry Baby might help me out, but it uh, was not meant to be, and I gained health anyway, so whatever. I always do this. Kill death first. We learned this last time. We identified this last time. Death is way more annoying than war, so you take out death first. Although I killed war first accidentally. <laughs> Poor war, man. Poor war. Death just kicks his ass every time. Is there a fallen over here? There is. Where are you going, mate? You're, like, running from me. All right, let's kill him, kill him, kill him. Awesome. My companions are so great. And all that for a remote detonator. Either way, we've now beat the boss rush on Eden. We can use Undefined. Get ourselves over to this random spot. And uh, that was kind of pointless. Hopefully there's a battery laying around somewhere. Was there a battery in the shop that I could purchase, maybe? There was. Okay. Damn, took me to the item room. You see, Undefined doesn't always take you to the error room, even though I've been very fortunate and lucky in general, and it has been taking me to the item room, like, consistently, but it doesn't always do that. And so, you know, gotta be uh, aware of that. And you know what? We'll go into the curse room. It's gonna cost me a soul heart. It's the last curse room we're gonna go in, probably, in this run. So why not try it? Bunch of chests. Left hand, sure. We're not going to be killing any poop anymore. Speed up's good. And he's just not. And I could have saved myself half of a soul heart damage there by using the star cards, but screw that. I'm going to use that, like, immediately on the next floor and, and see what... Oh, wait, no, it's not going to do anything. There's no more item rooms, I guess. So, kind of pointless to have, like, brought this all the way with me. And uh, that was dumb. Either way, I'm still going to use it. 
Yay, it teleported me one room to the right. <laughs> that room's normally horrifying, but thank you, spider companions. Thank you, daddy long legs, you know, so on and so forth. Okay, all right, can you die, please? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, we'll get that because this could also give us some hearts, maybe. Didn't, but, you know, always worth the shot. We have tons of bombs, why not? Uh, that rhymed. <laughs> I'm not going to waste any time in mob trap rooms. They're a big load of meh, mate. Big load of meh. Actually, that's a lie. I'm going to go, like, <sighs> why did I run on that? Why did I run on that? In my defense, we are in the womb. It's a curse chest. It could have been something awesome. It wasn't. But it could have been, and so it was worth it. I just lost two hearts, by the way, just by being dumb very quickly. But it could have been, like, I don't know, a guppy item. It could have been any of the deal with the devil items. It was worth the, the time. You know, I killed this pretty quick, but it definitely wasn't worth two hearts, which is what I paid for by just playing badly. Either way, do we get anything? Nope, just some bombs. Not really worth it. No, definitely not worth it, but it was worth a shot, at least. Okay, doke. Whoa there... All right, lots of teleporting around going on. That's uh, suction champions. They are kind of a pain in the ass. They actually are more of a threat than I seem to realize in general. We're going to save this undefined until we get to the boss. Um, obvious reasons are I missed a boss loot once in this run. We have deals with the devil to claim as well. Don't want to miss up or pass up on those. So, yeah. I walked on creep again because I'm so pro there in that last room. Ah, uh, yes, Dry Baby, finally uh, sort of in action there. He's not been, I was just thinking, just as that happened, Dry Baby's not really been using his uh, power that much. And this time, he did. All right, then, so we're going to go up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Many projectiles, left side. Okie doke, cool, taking these bombs. Uh, there's also the secret room there that I should probably go back for, which I shall. Don't walk on the creep, self, I know you like to. Oh, this is kind of a good uh, double whammy here. Get to the cursed chest and also go inside the secret room and blow up more things, because fun. And super greed. Yay. <laughs> so pointless. Look at this shit, man. Uh, I don't even know why I'm doing this, but I feel like it's my duty to get to max money in this run. <laughs> no real reason. I just want to. And, uh, yeah, it just feels like, you know, super swag style and... So on and so forth. And yeah, max money. And hey, if we get money equals power, then it's technically a valid thing for me to do in the correct play. And it, it technically is the correct play. Either way. Goodbye, the double dingle. You have uh, tried and failed. But you tried. So well done on that, I guess. Run in from me and die. Nice try, baby. Good job. Things are dying pretty pretty quick right now, even though I didn't take that damage upgrade in, in the uh, boss rush room. And it feels good. It feels so good. And again, we've seen this uh, this fear shot. Just the utility. Irrelevant of the damage. It's just been great, hasn't it? It's just been stopping so many different types of enemies from being a pain in my ass. Conquest. That's a good song. White Stripes. Shame they're not together anymore. But hey, he still makes good music. The, uh, the guitarist. Can't remember his name right now. He's one of my favorite uh, people, I guess. Uh, we'll take it. Why not? My enemies need to pay, and it gives me stuff. Okie doke. We'll pick this up so it's out of the pool. We're going to keep using Undefined. Hopefully it doesn't teleport me somewhere useless. Yes! Oh my god, the potential. I will take this one. Oh wow, it gave me two. It gave me both. All right. Cool. Tons of chests here. Oh, no! That is so unlucky. Oh. And I lose my undefined. I lost my undefined because I left it in there when I picked up Pandora's box. That's so lame. Well, I mean, at least we get something new here. It gives me some flight. I wouldn't have got to that without spending the key without that, I guess. But I spent a key anyway, because I'm stupid. <laughs> oh, nice, nice, nice one there. Uh, dry baby, saving us some time there. But that really does suck. We lost the Undefined, but it was fun. We had some fun with Undefined in this run. Not, not picking up that money. Literally pointless. I am at the cap. Get on, boys. May as well uh, go in here. See if we got a black heart or something along that nature. All right, then. No. 
Oh, hey, wow, we made it to the boss fight. Uh, we made it to the mom, in fact. Very quickly. Good. So many hands just insta-dying. Joker cards. Save it for the next floor. Save it for the next floor, because there ain't going to be a deal with the devil on the next floor. In fact, I've never, I don't think I've used a Joker card in Satan's Land Sheol before. I'm interested to see what that does. May as well do it. You know, do some extra damage, whatever. It's just fun. Careful here. There we go. Alright, so we need to go down, remember? We need to go down so that we can go to uh, the lamb. Looks like we're going to unlock everything on Eden at the moment. Alright, Joker card. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, I just finished watching Brooklyn 99, by the way. If you've not watched that, it's a TV show. It has Adam, S Andy, S and Adam Sandberg or Andy Sandberg. I think it's Andy Sandberg, who is uh, part of Lonely Island and one of a, like a huge inspiration to me for making YouTube videos in general. They were some of the first people to sort of do videos um, consistently in a, like a semi-professional way on YouTube. They were some of the first people to actually like do YouTube and they did a lot of silly awesome stuff man. Crazy shit man. And I absolutely love them. And it is a shame they don't do as much anymore and they kind of only make music now as well when they occasionally get together. But they're all doing films or on TV shows. It's really cool to see and I'm, it's like I'm kind of like even though they don't know me at all I have been subscribed to them since the first days of YouTube when I was like 13 or 12 years old, whatever it was, you know, this was five plus years ago, very, very long time ago. Six, six or seven years now, how old is YouTube actually? Holy shit, how long have I been on YouTube? I've not been making videos for even half the time I've been on YouTube, but still, that shows me where everything is, which is good because I need to go to the boss fight as fast as possible. That was an easy room, nice room. But yeah, Addy Sandberg's in it, and I, I really like him. He's really cool, you know, I, I respect him. It's good to see him be successful. Uh, and yeah, dude, that show is great. It's so funny. It has uh, Terry Crews in it, man. He's one of the main characters. It's great. And uh, it's very chilled out. They're like 20-minute episodes. Though it's about police work, and it's like comical style, you know. And uh, I recommend you just give one episode a watch and see if you like it or not. I think it's great. So there's my recommendation to you. This room is very satisfying to someone with great attack speed like me. Listen to these popping sounds of the fire. Oh, so satisfying. <laughs> and pointless. Very pointless. Oh, nice. He didn't even get across the screen. My spiders, man, they do so much damage. Oh, this is scary. Wow. They all exploded on one spot. That was convenient as fuck. Oh, that was great. Range down. You know what? No, thank you. Let's see if we can get some health from the secret room. We cannot, but, uh, you know, red hearts galore in there, I guess. We can also potentially get some soul hearts from this. Careful. Oh, what the fuck was that? He, sh he, d he shot, like, nowhere near me, and it hit me. Either way, I, I lost no health in that room, but did cost me a bomb. But, uh, oh well. Whoa! Careful with your explosive shots there, friend. Good thing I got flight, because I love walking on creep. Can't do it anymore. Alright, here we go. Satan time. Time it right. Time it right. Owned. Fuck. Dude, that was seriously owned. Oh my god, that was glorious. Use the bombs. Just spam the bombs. He's dead. Let's use some bombs. Wasted that bomb. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. I'm Ellen DeGeneres. Okay. Alright, uh, yep, so we've beat this before, right, as Eden, so yeah, no new item, but we need to beat the lamb as Eden, and here we are. So, let's see, place your bets now, will I actually get items from these? Also, I'm going to drop the left hand because I don't want any more red chests. In fact, both those things are bad, so we'll leave them. Oh, skip the floor. That's weird, that doesn't seem possible. It just seems like a waste of one heart, because it'll just, like, take me here, right? Because it's the deepest we can go. Weird. All right, let's go left. Okay, all right, okay, 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 all right. This is kind of scary, this room. So, yeah, no items were got from those... Or get, got, no got, no items got. Wow. No items received, achieved, whatever. 
um, from those um, chests, the four chests, as per fucking usual, it would seem. I'm very good at just not getting things from those four chests in the dark room for some reason. And it is depressing, I say. But, uh, oh well. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm also bad at getting chests that always have items in them on this floor for some reason. I get consumables all day, every day. I like to whine. See? See, no chests there. What is that? What is that? This is kind of scary. Kind of annoying. Like, the positioning of them in general. It's going to be a lot of... Oh, well done, Dry Baby. I quite needed that AoE damage. Oh, God. So many lasers are going to be splayed out in this room. Here we go. And we're good. Okay. Took some damage there. But it was difficult not to take damage in that situation. So you can forgive me. No chests be dropping, though. Sad about it. Can we get a chest? Here comes the chest. Not a chest, those are bombs. You confused, game. You confused. Whoa there. Decided some invincibility frames were needed to get through those guys without taking damage. And I would say that it saved the day. Alright, uh, we'll go right here. Pointless. But at least it's only double war. War is uh, irrelevant. War. War never changes, you know. It's always red and he's always riding a horse. And look at how angry he looks. Never changes. Fallout New Vegas, um, I met the lead dev for that game, and that game got a lot of slack. I met him at uh, the Paradox convention thing in Sweden that I was at very recently. If you've not watched that, watch the vlog! I said that in one of my recent episodes of uh, Isaac. Sorry, I'm saying it a lot. Oh boy, these guys are wrecking me. Please die, and thank you, Rage, for increasing my damage in a big way. Oh my, I'm very low on health. Suddenly concerned this isn't going to happen. Suddenly very concerned, actually. But yeah, I met him, and uh, really nice guy. And yeah, I'm just going to talk and play this for a bit, get some health. And yeah, he's making a new game, um, or part of a new game, uh, with Obsidian, as always. And it is called the... Oh, nice red hat. Um, it's like a Baldur's Gate, basically, um, except updated to our like time, I guess. Baldur's Gate is an amazing game, by the way, and it just seemed very much like Baldur's Gate, but again, for our time, rather than, uh, you know, outdated like Baldur's Gate actually is. So yeah, look out for uh, Pillars of Eternity. It looks really fucking good. I'm really looking forward to playing it, hopefully I get to play it soon, because of the contacts with the Paradox and that. But um, yeah, Fallout New Vegas, one of the most played games, if, no, actually the most played and downloaded game on Steam of all time. And it got a lot of hate based on the first few months of the game when it was kind of broken. But I love that game. And when it was fixed, it was fucking brilliant. A lot of people say they prefer Fallout 3 out of all the Fallouts. I love Fallout New Vegas. I'm a Fallout New Vegas boy, I guess. And uh, yeah, I got to meet him and it was really fucking cool. He's got some sweet tattoos, dude. Um, but yeah. It was kind of cool. And Fallout, the new Fallout, Fallout 4, is in the works, guys. It's in the works, as we all know. But when is it going to come out? That's the question. I'm so fucking hyped for that game. So insanely hyped for that game. And yet, we have no idea when it's coming out. And we have so many, like, constant new Fallout, like, guesses and speculation. Spe spe speculation, that's the way you should say it. Um, so who knows when it's actually going to come out. Explosive diarrhea, you know what? Fucking... We're not getting any help from this. We got the red hearts we were looking for, but I was hoping for some soul hearts or something at some point. And we just, we spent so much money, just got nothing. This is why I don't gamble in Isaac as much anymore, because it takes so long and you barely get anything from it. And apparently this is the best, one of the best ways to do like Lord of the Flies is like the arcades. And that's why I don't see Lord of the Flies as much, because I don't do arcades as much. And as you know, the reason I don't do arcades as much is because I spent so long doing them in Vanilla Isaac that they dro it drove me crazy, and now I pretty much hate them and don't want to do them in Rebirth, which is a bit of a shame. We finally got an item. It was Lil Chad, and we kind of actually need him, shockingly enough, uh, due to the fact that we are on Red Hearts now because we took so much dumb damage along the way here. So I have to be very careful here. But yeah, you should give me a lot of... I guess I'll take it, wh whatever. Um, you should give me some help in the, uh, the run. <sighs> oh boy. Many explosions were seen this day. Oh my god. Uh, good thing I'm, like, able to shoot them and knock them back away from me. That was a little bit scary. Alright, the double wretched. 
Wretched. Get wrecked, wretched. Are we ever going to see a chest with an item in it? Jesus. We're legitimately not, are we? It's kind of depressing. Uh, the dark room. I honestly have, like, the worst look when it comes to finding chests. Because every chest has an item in it. In the dark room. And it can be awesome. So why can't I ever get any? At least we found the boss fight. I can be happy about that. I can stop my whine now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you guys are relieved <laughs> about that. Okay. Goodbye, my friends. Alright, so we have a good health situation at the moment. We'll just do whatever damage we can and just shoot bombs at him. All day, every day. There we go. And just keep shooting them bombs. Keep firing the bombs. Keep shooting the bombs. They'll damage something at some point. There goes the body. There goes the head. Eden has unlocked the mystery bag. Or sack, rather. Boom. And we even uh, beat the boss rush. But yeah, no item like popped up when we beat it. That was kind of weird. Look. Eden. Everything's unlocked and hard. To go with all of the other characters that we've currently done that on. Even Isaac has unlocked everything unlocked. You know, it just gives you companions when you play on hard. Look at him go. Look at him go. Making the serious progress. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. I've been Holly. You've been you. And I will see you next time.